Want to create your own AI generated videos without needing a high end PC? Today we're turning simple prompts, images, or even dance moves into full on animations using Juan Vase and Comfy UI. Let's fire it up! Let's kick things off by answering a key question. What exactly is Juan Vase? It's an AI powered video generation system that works inside Comfy UI. Juan Vase gives you frame by frame video generation using a mix of text, images, and motion references. And the best part? It runs on different model sizes, meaning you don't need a RTX 5090 to make it work. Before we dive into the workflows, let's make sure Comfy UI is fully updated because Juan Vase features are only available in recent builds. Inside Comfy UI, go to the manager and press Update Comfy UI. All right, let's load in some workflows and actually get our hands dirty. Up in the top left of Comfy UI, hit the workflow button, then click browse workflows. From there, pick the video category and boom, you should see five new Juan Vase templates pop up at the top. Each one gives you a different way to generate videos. These templates open up so many possibilities, but the first one is where you'll want to start if you're new. Let's jump in. The text to video template. Once you load it up, Comfy UI is going to hit you with a few download prompts. Don't skip these, they're essential for making the whole thing actually work. Here's what you'll want to download before we get going. The Juan Vase model itself, you've got a few choices. The 1.3B model, great for low VRAM cards. The 14B model, which needs at least 24GB of VRAM to run smoothly. Or a GGUF model, which we will take a look at later. The Juan VAE, this handles the decoding of image data. The text encoder FP16 is slower but better quality. Use FP8 for faster generation. And lastly, the Cosvid LoRa. This one's optional, but without it, generation is painfully slow. Just make sure you download the matching LoRa for your chosen model. If you pick the 1.3B model, grab the 1.3B Cosvid LoRa. If you're using the 14B, download the 14B Cosvid LoRa. You'll also find download links for all of these models, VAEs, encoders, and LORAs in a note box on the left side of the workflow. Super handy. Quick heads up on where to put your downloads. Models go in models slash diffusion models. VAEs in models slash VAA. Text encoders in models slash text encoders and LORAs into models slash LORA. Then just restart Comfy UI to load them up. Now for video resolution there are some limits. The 1.3B model is best kept at 480p max or things start to get wobbly. The 14B model can push up to 720p and look great if your GPU can handle it. And if you're running a mid-tier GPU and still want smooth, high quality outputs, don't worry. Later in this video I'll show you how to use GGUF models which give you way better performance and quality on lower VRAM cards. All right, now that we're set up, let's actually try a prompt. Let's keep it simple, but anime stylish. Try something like this. An anime girl with long black hair standing on a rooftop at sunset. Her hair blows gently in the wind. City skyline in the background. Nice and calm, minimal motion, perfect for this kind of generation. Don't go too wild with movement early on. Fast motion can be tricky. Once you paste in your prompt, check the following settings. Check if you have the right model, LoRa, text encoder, and VAE loaded in. Next, go to the Juan Vase to Video node and set the correct dimensions. For 480p, set the width to 848 and the height to 480. For 720p, set these to 1280 and 720 instead. The larger your video size, the longer the generation takes. Now let's render and see what we get. And boom, that finished pretty quick. Pretty impressive for generating full video from just a few words. But this is really just the beginning. What if you want a little more visual control, like keeping a specific character throughout the animation? That's where the reference to video template comes in. Let's load that one up next. This one works almost exactly like the text to video setup. So if you followed along so far, you're already halfway there. But here's the twist. Instead of starting from just a prompt, you can now load in a reference image to guide the style or subject of your video. Let's start by dragging in our image. Ideally, you want something with a solid background color. Why? Because Juan Vase isn't trained to extract style the way you'd expect. It focuses more on subject and structure, not brush strokes or art style. So the cleaner the background, the better your subject stands out. 
Next up, set your video resolution. You can match the aspect ratio of your input image or change it up if you want something wider or taller. One base will crop the image automatically to fit your chosen resolution. Just try to keep your subject near the center to avoid any awkward framing. Then in the prompt box, describe what you see and want to happen in the scene. Something like a cartoon style girl with a green shirt and denim pants sitting on a rock in a forest clearing. She waves gently. Once that's done, the rest of the settings can stay exactly the same as the text to video workflow. Same sampler, same scheduler, same frame count, and make sure your COSVID LoRa is still active. All right, we're set. Let's hit generate and see how our still image transforms into motion. And there we go. Just like that, our still image is now a moving scene. You can already see how the reference image helps keep the style consistent while adding that subtle motion we described in the prompt. All right, now this next template is where things start to feel like magic. The control video, it gives you almost total control over the motion in your generated video. Most of the parameters are the same as before, but this time we get two inputs, an image and a video. So first we'll load in our image. This will be the image that we want to animate. Then, for the video input, I'm dropping in a clip of a man boxing. Juan Vase is going to analyze the motion in that video and apply it to our still image. To make that work, we need to enable the preprocessing nodes by selecting them and pressing Ctrl plus B. This analyzes the motion from the input video and translate it into something Wanvase understands. By default, the template uses a canny edge detector, but for character animation like this, I highly recommend switching to Open Pose. Open Pose tracks the skeletal movement, so your subject will follow the same punches, footwork, and flow from the video, just with your image instead. You will need to download the custom control net node for this to work. Last step, don't forget to update your prompt to match your character and the scene. Once that's set, hit generate, and let's watch your character come to life with real movement. Nice, that came out great. You can see how closely it follows the movement from the input video, but with our custom character layered on top. Open Pose really nailed the motion here, and this opens up so many possibilities for animating your own characters. All right, let's talk GGUF models. These are a game changer if you're working with a lower VRAM GPU but still want crisp, detailed results. Unlike the regular 1.3B or 14B models, GGUF models are quantized, which basically means they're optimized to use less memory and still produce great quality. Perfect for cards that struggle with the full 14B model. So how do we get started? First, you'll need to download a GGUF model. I put a link in the description to the Hugging Face page with the models. Follow this table to pick the right model for you. Once you've downloaded a GGUF model, make sure to place it in the correct folder. Comfy UI slash model slash UNet. Now let's set it up in the Comfy UI. In your workflow, double click on the canvas to bring up the search bar. Type in UNet Loader GGUF and select it. If you don't see this, download the GGUF custom node via the manager. Once that's done, connect the UNet Loader output directly into your Load LoRa node, just like you would with the original model. Then you can delete or disable the original Load Diffusion model node, since the UNet Loader is now doing that job. You can also use a GGUF clip loader for your text encoder. Just download a GGUF version of your preferred text encoder. I'll leave a link in the description. Place it in the model slash text encoders folder and use the clip loader GGUF node in your workflow. Again, if that node doesn't appear, make sure the GGUF custom node is installed. Hook it up just like the standard text encoder. And now you're fully running Wan Vase with GGUF models for both your model and text encoder getting better visual quality on your mid-range GPU without any extra setup. And that's it for Juan Vase and Comfy UI. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more AI tutorials. Got questions or want to see the other Juan Vase workflows covered in future videos? Let us know in the comments below.